everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add taxes using your Clover dashboard. First thing you're going to want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom here and go under the account and setup tab. From there, you're going to scroll down again and you're going to go under business operations and select taxes and fees. All right, then once that finishes loading up, here you can see the taxes and the flat fees. So in this particular case, you can see that we have our default tax. And in this particular state, we also have the alcohol sales tax. So what you wanna go ahead and do, if you are setting this up fresh, is add a tax rate or a flat fee. You can name the tax rate. So here we'll go ahead and just put test tax since it's just an example. Then here is where you're gonna put in the percentage, whatever percentage it is that you wanna put in. If it's a tax percentage or a flat fee. So something really important to note here is this little checkbox right here that you see is checked off underneath the sales tax. Um, this is the default taxes and fees. So this means that any items that you add into your inventory are going to go ahead and get this tax, right? So when you add a cheeseburger to your menu, it's gonna defaulted, it's gonna default to this tax amount, right? So we have it here, the one we just added at 7%. If every single one of my items gets 7% tax and I don't wanna have to mess with doing a drop down, all of my items are gonna get that 7% tax, right? So then you would just go ahead and save, make sure that checkbox is checked if that's the case. And then in this case, you see alcohol sales tax, right? So of course, this is gonna be very specific to just the alcohol sales. I'm not gonna put alcohol sales tax on my cheeseburger. So my cheeseburger will get that default sales tax of the 8.65%, but because I don't have the default selected for the alcohol sales tax, it will not get that additional 12.5%, okay? The next thing I wanted to show you guys is the rules by order type. So, Let's say you have some tax exempt items. This is where you would go ahead and put that in, which would just be under create, uh, create exemption rule. And then you have the settings as well here too. Um, this is something that's a personal choice. Um, you can select this option if you want yourself or your employees to be able to remove the taxes from an order. Okay, so let's say you want the ability to, let's say, when a, an order is placed for whatever reason you want to give a discount of the tax, maybe they're a, maybe their business is a tax exempt business usually is the example of this. Um, you could go ahead and have that option where you could remove the tax, but only if you have this option checked off here under your settings. Okay. So that is how to add taxes to your Clover dashboard, to your inventory. If you have any questions or if you wanna learn anything else about how to change, add or modify things on your Clover dashboard, please leave us a comment down below. We will be recording plenty of videos for you guys. Uh, please also subscribe, subscribe to our channel so that way you can see this content. And if you like this video, which I hope you did, please click that thumbs up button. It lets us know that we need to create more content like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.